Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, everything's working. What's going on? We have Maxor, the boy here today. One Hello. of, I would say, the most... Well, how do, how do I... What, what, what the hell is your title, Maxor? What, what the fuck do we call you, dude? Uh, You know, on my resume, I just put video editor. But you just... <laughs> just video editor? Yeah, because um, you don't really... I don't know if you want to explain it all the time. Don't say <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay. Well, pe people in chat. I guess. Earlier. I guess it's ADHD editor. Maybe I don't have it, but <laughs> title probably. Yeah, so I was asking before the stream. I was like, "Well, do you have ADHD or some sort of OCD?" And you're like, mm. "No, absolutely no, not, not at, at all. all." This is I'm raw dogging reality. Like, I don't uh, <laughs> drink much coffee. I don't drink much soda or alcohol. Or anything. I just drink water all day while I'm editing, and I just do it. It's not the Andrew Callaghan situation where he just had like too many shrooms. No. It's, okay. uh, it's all like, I have to, I'm, I'm forced to comprehend everything that I'm making, unfortunately. <laughs> Wait, that you sucks. can, so you're saying you can comprehend what you made? Slowly. Okay. Slowly, <laughs> but surely you'll understand it eventually. A lot of, a, a lot of what I do is like, um, I don't know. I don't know how people, like if that many people know how much work goes into it. Um, but I kind of. When it comes to a lot of my videos, I can kind of just recite a lot of them by memory. Usually the intros, stuff like that. Um, or I, I, re I remember editing most of the scenes and like what I was feeling like during that. Oh, like it was like scenes like, okay, how long is a scene so, in your head, right? Because a scene is like, obviously for most people, like 30 <laughs> seconds, but a scene in a Maxwell no. video is literally one second, correct? I guess a topic. Okay, it's like. Topic. Like in my video, when it goes to a boss and this boss is speaking, yeah, that's like uh, that's like one chunk of work that I do, and then I might I might take a break after that, and then I do the next chunk where they're fighting, and usually it's like topics. Like even in a fight, there will be multiple topics or multiple jokes that I go through, stuff like that, or tangents. So, oh okay. Well, how do you so? How do you decide on what game? First of all, Elden Ring was probably one of the biggest videos that you've made, but I just kind of wanted to yes. talk on like. Because people were asking before, and I had in my Discord channel, I know I didn't send you this pre-before pre, pre we talked, but you, you, they, you've you talked about, I believe, in like YouTube shorts on where, you know, you don't really feel that good about videos you've done in the past. Why is that? Um, so I figured out that incorrect summaries are definitely a thing I want to do, like more than almost anything else. And um, in particular, the Elden Ring ones and the Metal Gear ones, um, I feel like they are quite different from the other ones. And they're also uh, quite a bit more popular, fortunately. Like, the thing that I like doing and am most passionate oh. about is actually what's most popular. But for those ones, I like being able to express myself in more ways that, it, that are than just humor. Like, yeah. obviously, there's a lot of humor. But there's also these um, little music montages, and there's uh, really good music that I get to put in, stuff like that, and I get to explore that. Um, I get to do like boss montages and stuff like that. Um, that's what I really like more. It was really, really hard for me when I was doing the, uh, when I was doing my Monster Hunter World video, for instance. Yeah. Um, to stay focused and always talk all the time without breaks. Like I just feel like pacing wise, incorrect summaries for me are better. I, I will do reviews like, but I feel like I, I feel like I do them because I don't have a better idea in mind. Like there's not that perfect perfect game yeah um it takes a long time for me to decide what game to do like a really long time and it's a really important decision because it governs what i'm going to do for like two months yeah uh usually it's like it has to be kind of wacky have a lot of action have a lot of variety like probably be in third person because it's just easier to like for the camera and for editing and all the wacky stuff that i do um, and usually have an insane plot or something that I can ex exaggerate. So stuff like Metal Gear and stuff like Elden Ring are basically perfect. And I'm extremely glad that Elden Ring is a long game as a result of that. Elden Ring is probably what I'm going to do if I have no better, like, better ideas. <laughs> Just forever Elden Ring? Don't do that. Please, Max. You gotta mix it no, up, No, I'm dude. gonna take a break, I think. I'm not going to do, like, <laughs> th three or four parts in a row because I don't want to be an Elden Ring channel, basically. But have you finished Elden Ring? Have you actually finished the game oh, yet? I've beaten the game, like, three times, yeah. Oh, okay. You just keep going Only back. like three times, only like 150 hours or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I saw it was like 150 hours in the in the second part, and I was like, wait a second. Has he beat the game yet at this point? Like, how have you oh, put yeah. 150 hours into the game? You're just exploring every crevice possible? Oh, yeah, and definitely not by the by the time that I mention it. Like, yeah. that's only 
10, 20 hours into the first playthrough or something like that. I think that footage is from. Uh, so, I also use in that video footage from like all three playthroughs. <laughs> oh, from every single. Oh my god! So you're not or even. Or like... I um, in the case of part two, I redid almost all my footage because I wanted the armor to be like consistent. Yeah. Like I might have gone between places and worn different armor, and I decided, okay, no, I'm going to do a playthrough. I have the exact same armor, so I I literally redid the whole game, like the entire entirety of Elden Ring. Just so the armor could be consistent in my footage. <laughs> oh my god. No, just for the armor to be consistent, you replayed the entire game. Yeah, that was before um Oh my god. That was before I did like cheat engine and free cam mods and stuff oh, like that okay, to make good. it faster. But yeah, at that time. Because like I also wanted you can't really cheat that footage of you playing through like yeah, an area normally. So yeah. you kinda have to play through the whole game. Yeah, that makes sense. Is that how you've always done things where it's like you realize after you look at the footage, you're like, wait, everything doesn't line up here. It's not like a movie where everything doesn't stay in character and you don't have the same shit the entire time. So do you always oh, yeah. replay the entire game just to make sure the armor looks the same through the whole playthrough, for example? Even in Metal Gear Rising, I um, when I made that video, I replayed the game for most of my footage. And most of the footage you see is um, the footage of the second playthrough. Because oh. in the first playthrough, I'm still, like, working out stuff, getting frustrated. I might move my camera a lot and might dart it back and forth between a bunch of guys or, like, look around in weird places that don't lead anywhere. And in part two, I'm like, okay, I, I need to show this. Or, sorry, I mean, playthrough two. I need yeah. to show this. So I try to have, like, the most cinematic-looking fights in, in the second playthrough. I try to, like, look out at big, like, vistas of the area. Like, basically, I play like I'm, uh, I I play like I'm an E3 trailer for the game yeah yeah exactly in, in my second playthrough that makes sense i mean i i mean it's not the ideal way to play the game unless you're like a grandpa grandpa or grandfather or something maybe you have like your boomer but okay <laughs> but, yeah it's low uh, max well, let's change topics here a little okay i wanted mm -hmm. to uh the first thing i thought when i when i watch your videos the first thing that popped up to me because anybody involved in how do i phrase this uh vtubers right <laughs> Anybody involved with VTuber, as soon as they see some sort of reference, everybody freaks the fuck out. I didn't even notice until recently. I didn't, until somebody pointed out that you, you called out Fauna in your most recent video. And I didn't even realize it until r slash hole. I was like, yeah, he called out Fauna, by the way. And they're all freaking out in that, that she was in your video. It had 10,000 upvotes, I think, the, the post that the yeah. guy made. Yeah, I know. I was like, holy fuck, and, where the hell did that come and from? And he calls me by name as if, like, as if they all recognize who I am. It, it's because they know. It's the, and they just immediately like off what I'm like, you guys know who I am? It, yeah, you're just like, what? What the fuck? But it, I mean, do you think Wat Watame knows? Do you think she knows about you? No. What? You don't <laughs> you don't think best girl knows about you? No, probably not. I don't think like a Japanese I don't know any Japanese YouTubers besides VTubers, for instance, right? Like yeah. I don't really think it's gonna cross the language barrier. Um I hate to say this, but like Oh, okay. Because of how like Hall Live works and how people in Japan react to stuff like this. Oh yeah. I don't think I would ever be able to collaborate with her. Like it would be kind of funny if I had a voice line from her, for instance. Yeah. But that's basically what a collaboration means for me. Um I don't think I would do anything beyond that in terms of interaction because Hall Live Japan is very tight. They yeah. are they really like they almost never interact what? with anyone who's not a vtuber and that's on purpose but didn't they literally who was it that interviewed the the actor from morbing for oh for, yeah for they morbing? did they did uh what the fuck's his name I I, it was a vtuber named i think lapless yeah 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 or lapless darkness i think is their their full like title or whatever right and they interviewed um jared leto about Morbius, I think. <laughs> yeah. or was it Fubuki? I, I don't I, remember exactly. I don't, One of them did actually interview them about Morbius. <laughs> what are the fucking and, chances? The one of the best movies of our generation, and somehow Fubuki's there. It is. It is amazing. But like, besides that, I especially don't think they would like interact too much with English content creators. Like, I don't think it's a possibility, really. Wait, but what if you get a? What if you do a movie though? But what if they give you a movie and a budget? And then you, you reach out to whole lot of Japan. You're like, oh, I'm creating this Western film. And the Western film is just... Yeah, then Elden I do Ring it Part because 3. at that point I'm a famous guy. Yeah, there you go. Fucking do it. <laughs> Why not? Would you interact I get with... To, I get like a, a two-minute interview where I don't get to... I don't understand anything they're saying. I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> that's right. And it was hard or something like that. I'm like, okay. You're like, all right, move on. All right. 
So who's your, so obviously what well, Tom is your VTuber, but would you interact with any of the Western VTubers similar to? Yeah, I, I would mean, if, if given the possibility or like, um, or if they were right for the role. I thought that Iron Mouse's voice, for instance, was, was the best for the role. Like it could have been a lot of different English VTubers, but the way that her voice is like that kind of, I guess it's just kind of high or it sounds kind of cute and innocent. Um, was precisely what I made that character to sound like, or what I thought that character sounded like in my head. Yeah. Um, so it was super fortunate that I was actually able to get her voice, because she um, she watched my video at the end of like a stream at one point, like mm. and that watched the, the whole worst, thing. The and worst, the worst idea. <laughs> another video from me, at and the I was very like, end. "Oh, wait a minute. Let's try to ask her. Like, like, I don't think it's gonna work, but let's try." Yeah. And she was like, "Yeah, let's do it." <laughs> I mean, that's generally how shit works, right? You just reach out. That's that's literally how we got you for the interview today, Max, or because obviously, I mean, nobody even was aware that you were available for interviews. So would you be willing oh, really? to interview with more people? I mean, people probably are, but it's like nobody's really aware that you could reach out. So are you willing to do interviews with even like Iron Mouse with her? Doesn't she like do a talk show or something? People, ha I literally haven't been asked. Like, I I'm serious. You are actually genuinely like, I think that, you're the first person to really ask me, like, formally. And um, I respond quickly if it's on Discord. Um, but don't I, say I've that. looked don't, through my oh, emails God. and everything like that. I don't, nobody's asked so far. Um, which is fine. I, I guess people don't, like, think I am that open to interviews. But if anyone wants to interview me, you can. It's totally good. Yeah, go for it. I would love to see you on those shows and stuff. I think it'd be really as, fun. As long as I don't get, like, I don't know, dozens of requests or anything, maybe I have to calm it down then. But besides that, it's fine. Yeah. Well, everybody thinks you're a sentient computer, so I don't even think they think you're a real person. What do you what do you think about like that persona where everybody's saying you're literally a, a fucking editing software that's not even a real person? What do you think about that? That's a really common YouTube comment that I get actually. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know I see it everywhere, even on Discord. I guess it's because um, it kind of has an inhuman quality to it because you're not used to seeing like. Maybe you're used to seeing this kind of editing for an intro or like you'll have a bunch of editing and then it'll stop and then um, the person will talk a bit and then you'll have something with cool editing or cool effects or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I'm just literally consistent throughout the whole time I'm doing that all the time. Um, I am a machine, actually. Oh. Uh, sorry. Um, what? When I was in college, my brain kind of exploded. Um, oh, okay. And before that, I was really like, I don't know, I was I had motivation problems. Oh. Um, I wasn't always like up to doing stuff and I, I, I was having problems in classes and stuff. And then like something hit me in my head at one point, like when I got really frustrated and upset. Um, and ever since then, I've just every day I, I've identified the exact amount of work that I want to do. I do it and then <laughs> and then I'm done oh, and I, I just like don't stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's I, it's kind of like I'm on a factory assembly line, honestly, is that's how I like to <laughs> think about it. Like, I'm literally just hammering out, like, the parts on the line as they go until my, my shift is done. Like, well, that's all I do. That's what we're talking about, because you said that after you finish a video, you take, like, a, a week off, right? Yes. I take, like, almost an entire week off, probably, like, a whole week. During that week, I like to research my next thing or, like, to think about things. Oh, so it's not even really, a, like, a break. I, it kind of is, because it's mostly just me, like doing a playthrough of like another game and going like oh maybe i should do this one in the future or maybe i should do this one next yeah um getting footage and stuff like that i can do anything like that i was recording genshin impact in case i wanted footage but it turns out i probably won't make that video yet oh wait well you said genshin impact right i'm not just yeah. right in brain fart didn't you already make a genshin impact video or you make a bar two yeah but that was um that was before the 2.0 update of genshin impact oh yeah Basically, Genshin Impact, they're going to develop the game for the next 10 years. Like, oh. this is not a joke. They have a full development plan where they're going to develop the game for the next 10 years. Um, and they're going Holy to make shit. it, like... A, and this isn't, like, improving old stuff. This is just adding new things. Yeah. They're going to keep making new areas until the game is, like, 10 times bigger than it already is. And right now... The game that I'm playing, like the Genshin Impact I'm playing right now, mm -hmm. is like twice as big as the Genshin Impact that I played when I reviewed it. Holy shit. God damn. And it's gonna get bigger, so. Yeah, because that was when that was when the game came out. And that was when like what like Abyss Raids and stuff like that were so new. I I, I had to give up though, bro. The dailies were fucking too much. Uh, I kinda like being able to just like I log on for 30 minutes and then I can uh, go work yeah. on other stuff. 
what I do normally. I'll count this so, as, okay, yes. When it comes to mm. one main thing that I discovered in Elden Ring, before Elden Ring, it was just kind of like good music from games I played that I recognized and other people would recognize, stuff like that. Mm. When I started on Elden Ring, I made a realization that Chinese mobile games create the best EDM in the entire industry. <laughs> Wait, are you saying like... For, oh, yeah. For just like generally electronic music, stuff like that, stuff with background vocals, like... But normally in the like kind of electronic genre, they make the best. I'm not kidding. Like, this is not a joke. It's, it's really competitive, like, to advertise your tower defense game to the Chinese consumer. Um, so they they just hire these really talented sound studios what the fuck? to make these incredible like you know um, soundtracks. All the all the major like vocal tracks for all the big bosses in my Elden Ring video, except for except oh. for one. Wait, that was all are from, just a... from Chinese gacha games. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> and they they don't keep a good eye on YouTube. Oh no, they oh. should. The Max, don't say don't that. Really, don't fucking... They don't really care too much about. <laughs> Until you said that, bro. They don't Come really on, care man. too much about YouTubers using them, especially um, Blue Archive is one that I harvest all my background music from because it's really good background music, and they they make a lot of bangers. Yeah. Um, but I mainly uh, I mainly keep track of like the sound studios that are behind the games instead of just the the game soundtracks. Okay. So I said I was saying um, the genre is more palatable. Like you can say, oh, the Doom Eternal soundtrack. That's amazing. You know, it's one of the best soundtracks ever made, and it really is one of the best soundtracks ever made. But it's not background music for the silly Elden Ring video. Oh. Uh, when I, but me finding, like, this interesting... Uh, except when I'm fighting uh, Satan in hell, then that becomes the, the background music. Yeah, of course. But besides that, uh, you know, when I'm running around doing silly stuff like that, the electronic music that they make is really palatable, and it's really, like, just good for it in general. Mm. And... Like Elden Ring soundtrack itself is is also amazing. You know, it has all these swelling, amazing orchestral tracks, but it doesn't fit in the way I'd like it to. Right. I think like these soundtracks that I have selected are the ones that fit. Also, I like them fast. <laughs> yeah, of course. I like really, really fast ones because, or at least fast enough where it already it like feels like it perfectly slots into my editing. So it has to be really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to emphasize how fucking quick it is. Like, um, I think there's a, there's a shot in my recent video where I'm fighting, uh, the boss Morgoth for like the first five seconds mm. and I accidentally made it too fast because I was syncing it perfectly with the music what? and you can't really tell what's happening, but I realized like, okay, as long as it syncs with the music, it doesn't matter how fast it is. I can just keep making it fast. <laughs> so I did, I did that part and like watched it back. I was like, oh no, wait, they're not gonna, no one's going to understand what this is, but, it, but it's so good. And so, I just let it happen. Like it's better than re it's better to do that than to redo all my work. Well, like on those on that topic, like on the work that you do, how much time do you spend on just like in just one day when you are in, on like the grind? Eight to ten hours. Eight to, usually oh. more than eight hours. Usually like nine, ten. Oh, okay, but just like sitting there, I, like actual work. That's what you mean, right? Like, or you mean like just being actual hard work? Yeah. The thing is, like, um, I will work for like eight work for like eight to ten hours. But every two hours or so, I'll have like a 10, 15 minute break. Oh, okay. um, so that stacked up is probably like an eight hour, nine hour, like uh, amount of work. Yeah, that's that's still uh, a lot. But I, I thought people I think were thinking, oh, yeah, I think it's more than people think, because when you go to work in an office, like maybe two thirds of that or maybe half of that, I don't know, probably around two thirds is actual like hard work. And the rest might be like meetings or like getting up and doing stuff or breaks or whatever like that. Um, I usually like, I tell myself, um, oh, today, because I'm working on, because I'm working on a normal part of the video or whatever, I have to get 30 seconds done. Um, and then I don't stop working until 30 seconds are done. And if I could get done early, I add more details to the 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty um, good. And sometimes that's a really hard benchmark to actually hit. And sometimes I have to spend more time, but well, like, I can oh, take breaks yeah. at work at home. Yeah, because sometimes, how, what was the most layers you've added? I, I guess, like, for people that don't know, basically, in, uh, uh, what do you use, Premiere, right? Yes, I use Premiere to so, edit. Yeah, yeah, in Premiere, the layers, there's just pretty much every, like, individual scene. Like any... Yeah, like video, video layer. Or it, can be, um, it can be another video or another mm -hmm. image Voice. or an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer is something that just applies a bunch of effects to everything below it. Right. 
but in my recent video, I have a shot that has 14 video layers. Yeah, yeah. So that's the most you've done is 14? Because I saw a screenshot. That's the most at once. I have used video layers higher than that, but that's because things are stacking on top of each other weird or asymmetrically. Yeah, yeah. And all of those clips that are in that 14 layer sandwich all have their own effects applied to them. <laughs> so it's even more complicated in that instance. I'm seeing a pretty common question in chat at least. So somebody's asking like eight to 10 hours is how much you work, but how much, like how many seconds or minutes can you do in an eight to 10 hour day of working? working? I try to get between 30 seconds and 45 seconds. For the entire day. And back when I made Metal Gear, my Metal Gear Rising videos, I did 45 seconds a day every day. Mm. Um, and I think I've just, my video, my editing is a little more creative. It I don't use all the same like color correction and like all the same effects that I used to. It's a little different now. Um, and also the voice acting, like I'm trying way harder to get that correct. Yeah. Um, so I usually feel like I struggle to get 35 to 40 seconds done. I, I try every day to get 35 to 40 seconds done. Right. And I'll, oftentimes I sell for less and I just say, okay, I need 30 like seconds, just solid. So that's usually how much I get done that time. Okay. Okay. Well, in, in your, um, oh yeah, yeah. Two hours of that or so, like one to two hours of that, probably two is just the writing and the voice acting. The voice acting takes so much time. Yeah. I will I will sit at my computer and be like, and then I ran forward. And then I ran forward. <laughs> and then I ran forward. And then and 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 usually that that's something I can do in like three takes. But yeah. for really really like longer lines and stuff like that or stuff I need to piece together, I might do like a lot of takes, open it up and be like, "No, these are all bad. I need to do another take." Um and then do it again. Like I'm my perfectionism when it comes to like the the voice lines and stuff like that is really aggressive compared to everything else. I guess this is like a good transition because you, as you mentioned your perfectionism and a lot of people have always thought like okay, Max or pumps out to uh, a video every 2 months, right? So why does he not just hire an editing team? Why why does he not just get somebody to come help him? It would be so hard <laughs> to teach an editor to do what I do. You think, I think so? There might be like a guy out there maybe uh, Have you not seen like talk, I don't know. Don't, but, don't you don't you in your Discord server? Don't you literally have like a channel where people make videos that pretty much identically copy your stuff? I mean, most of them are probably not as good, but somebody must be close. Yeah, it's because I don't think they're that good. <laughs> I'm sorry. all of them. What I the? know, I know one guy who go. I really respect and I think has like all the creativity, like and and skills required for that, and he's so good that he he runs his own channel. Oh, it's my my friend who's in my all my videos, Jimothy Ross. Oh, um, he's like the one guy I think would let, I would be like, oh yeah, like he is like definitely the kind of person that I would want as an editor. Mm. Um, but if you're that good, you're probably, you're probably just going to start making your own YouTube channel. I don't know if you want to be an editor that like quality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of fucking work. And well, speaking of which I wanted to know, like kind of on that same basis and other YouTubers, I guess, like who inspired you to even like start on YouTube and do this kind of content in the first place? So, um, I began making Arma 3 videos. Like, I began yeah. as a really generic YouTuber. Like, just like everyone else. I just made, like, video compilations of, like, funny moments of me and my Arma group. And that was, like, all I did. And then eventually it got more complicated. I would add text. I was known as, like, the guy who, uh, who cut things really short. Basically, like, when I started out, I was inspired by desync. Oh. Like I thought he was the funniest YouTuber ever, and he still is like one of the funniest YouTubers ever. And I was really inspired by that, but then I realized like people don't watch me for any other game at all. And I and mm. I got like three hundred thousand subscribers, and I stagnated really hard. Like no one would watch anything else I made. And then one one day I and I thought like, oh well, if I want to be a YouTuber, I gotta I gotta like upload more. I gotta like work on something like get something out like once a week or. So yeah. I char I started changing like my inspiration, changing like what videos I liked, or what videos I like to make, and that's when I made my like Ace Combat Seven video, and that was more inspired by I would oh. say Uber Danger and stuff like that. Mm. I liked people who like were kind of clever and had good writing and were like narrating over something like Uber Danger. Um, a bit of Seth, but I didn't actually watch him that much at the time. Like people 
say I'm similar to him, but I, it's probably more because I'm, I was trying to be like Uber danger. <laughs> oh, that's pretty interesting. So like, yeah, everybody I would say kind of relates you to Seth. I mean, that's how, at least I got more interested in your channel. I was like, wait a second, this guy's like Seth It's pretty much like identical, but you didn't even know about him before you started to do it's, that style. I think it's a, a lot of it's coincidental. I, I think if you look at like how we deliver lines and, and do our voice and like narration and time when our things hit, they're like really different. But, yeah. like, the general format is similar. And I feel like the general format also got very popular because of him. So there's, like, that natural comparison. Yeah, of course. But oh, I, feel, I don't think there were that many YouTubers that were doing, like, I guess, I guess the idea of summarizing, like, a game's plot and doing the funny narration was, like, a general idea that a lot of people did. Yeah, it's always been since, like, so, like I don't know. I, I felt like it was such a simple idea that I didn't have to, like, it was mainly over danger, though. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Well, uh, hmm. Let's see. Let and now he's in my video. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Literally ended so, up, yeah. Then my dream. Okay, well, speaking of which, actually, because you actually had... We talked about Iron Mouse earlier, and, and I wanted to talk about this because it's obviously been a big talking point in general. When we talk about uh, somebody like Iron Mouse coming into your video, she also, as you mentioned, reacted to your video on stream, and I'm sure made a YouTube video about it or something, and generally, I feel like there's this, it's either you're on one side or the other. And I'm talking about React channels, right? Obviously, there's a lot of them. Uh, I, I guess I count as a React channel. A lot of people do. And people come and watch your videos on YouTube. How do you look at that? What do you think about React channels? And especially when they react to your videos, what's your opinion on that? So in the past, I don't, like, I'm kind of mixed on it. Like, mm -hmm. you said people are one way or the other. I, like, I feel as if I'm not, like, totally knowledgeable to like police that from people mm. like i'm not really i don't know i sometimes i have like preferences that i really want to act on just to because i feel like it's better for me like for instance um there are a lot of react channels that will get like 10k views 20k views there's nothing and not in terms of views but like it's nothing in terms of like their capability to harm me in any way yeah. like that that i don't think that can really affect my channel but when like a big like dude like Asmongold or something like that like came in and he his video had like 500,000 views and I see his uh and I see his reaction to Seth and his reaction to Seth had like 1 million views and I was thinking like okay this is something that could reasonably like reasonably affect recommendations and stuff like that and people being recommended from my videos to him right and not like necessarily being recommended back to my channel so I thought, like, okay, I should probably just ask him nicely to, like, take those down. And he did. And, and, and I said to him, like, you're not competing with me on, like, Twitch. You're not competing with me on any other website that's not YouTube. So you can react to me on, like, on your Twitch all day. It doesn't matter to me because it doesn't affect me in any way. The only, the only time I feel like I ever should get involved with reaction content is if it somehow, like, can can possibly affect my recommendations other than that is fine oh. um i feel like if you if you're a, like a small react channel like people are going to your channel because they want to see your because they're like they've already seen the original and they're thinking about your reaction to it basically or like they want to see somebody's reaction to it whereas like bigger channels that always react kind of bring in their own audience and have their own sphere and stuff like that you know it's right and that doesn't really necessarily it's like... a different dynamic i feel so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot, I'm, it's also, it's just not worth it to go around. Like, even even if you're against React content, it's not worth it to, like, you, you see a guy with, like, 20,000 views, 10,000 views, or, or even 100,000, like, and, 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 you know, get mad at each and every individual one. It would take so much effort. Yeah, it's not just, worth it. There's no yeah, reason exactly. to. Unless you're, like, CNBC or, like, some one of those fucking, like, news stations or something like that going out. Oh, yeah. Here. Like, again, that goes back to my, like, can something actually affect me? can something like substitute for the original for a big audience or, or like has their own audience that is like otherwise being kept like doesn't have to see the original that kind of thing but besides that it's fine usually oh, yeah that's pretty respectable well and, and on one thing i guess as well since you actually post so many videos and you're probably working on are you working on elden ring part three right now you're on this like week break pretty much i don't know i'm on my break mm. but the biggest problem with elden ring part three is going to be what parts do i do because I'm trying to figure out if I can get it down to four parts. I don't mm -hmm. want it to be five parts. It yeah. might have to be because of uh, Ronnie's quest line, which is long. So I'm going through all the options in my head. I was thinking, like, what if I cut out uh, this quest line? What if I don't mention this part? What if I uh, summarize, like, these parts that I think are going to be short together? Um, and then 
I always have to think about like, okay, what if I think this is going to be short and it's going to be really long? Like the um, the entire section with Rikard and the Volcano Manor in my last video, I yeah. thought was going to be way shorter than it actually was. Oh, really? Yeah, because I thought, I thought uh, oh, the area doesn't take that long, and then I go through a dungeon, and then I fight the boss. Surely this isn't that long. Um, but it feels way longer in game, and I need to pace out like all the things that I do. And it also had more complications and more subplots and jokes I wanted to make, so it ended up being long. So I'm trying to think like, okay, what if I edit this part? And if it's short, I can I can add this part. And and what if it's not short, so I can make it the end and all this like complicated stuff. And yeah. I'm also contemplating just not doing that and doing another video on a different game, like as oh. a break. There you go. Have you thought because of any are there any contenders? The 30 minute video is taking the wind out of me sometimes. Oh yeah. Like it, it really is long compared to my previous projects, which would be like 15 minutes yeah. or 17 or something like that. So I would be done within like a month. The base, the biggest contender, I would say, um, for another video, this is actually really the only serious contender is ultra kill. Oh yeah. I've heard about that game, but I was, I'm so scared because it's not done yet. So I'm thinking like, what if something changes? I could summarize like the first layer of Ultra Kill, like layer one or whatever. Um, and that would probably age well, but I'm still like, it's in the back of my head. Like, do I really want to do this? Should I wait longer? Kind of thing. Yeah. Because I, I make all my videos with the intention that they're going to age well, at least well enough. Like maybe the jokes exactly won't age, but like I want them to be like the, the video that people go to when they want to remember the games or remember the past. Right. <laughs> and that's why they keep continually like, getting more views or at least i like to think that they are yeah that's pretty understandable oh so ultra kill specifically like you don't think the game's going to be like in place for like the entire time because it's early access correct it is an early access game right now okay. they're mostly like i'm pretty sure they have layer one done like the the plot the important part is done but they might change weapons around they might change levels around i'm scared of that because, like, what if I tell a story? And, and the thing is, like, in my, a lot of my videos, I like to tell a story because it's uh, of, like, a specific enemy. Something I see or, like, these, these short little tidbits that make you feel like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm watching a guy play a game. And I'm afraid, like, what if they rebalance the game and they change that? I'm kind of scared of that. I'm not that scared of, like, the main plot changing, though. I mean, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal, though, because realistically, yeah, things might change or whatever. But yeah, I mean, some people do get pretty analytical with your videos. Like what I remember with your Genshin video, what was the there was like a character, Bennett, I believe it was. You said Bennett was shit. And I think everybody I did that on purpose. Oh, you did it on purpose. Oh, yeah. I oh, my God. sometimes I will intentionally get oh details God. wrong to piss people off. Yeah, Not yeah, piss yeah, people yeah. off. Uh, see if I can get a reaction. Really? It like it, it's I genuinely have this bone in my body that's kind of mischievous. That's like. You just want to piss people. <laughs> make them mad. Do it. Make them mad. <laughs> um, so, yeah. and you'll notice, um, I do it to another character who's also one of the best units in the game, uh, which is Xing Cho. Oh. Um, he is literally one of the best sub DPS characters in the game, and I call him bad, with while also calling Bennett bad, on purpose. Yeah. So you just went your way. <laughs> Did people not catch on, or is it just like I'm just like okay, I'm weeding out these people that I actually get pissed off. That is like. I don't know if I'm I'm like weeding him out or you, if like you just want to get a reaction like that. Basically. I kind of just wanted to get that re like reaction. I don't know. I think it's harmless. I don't like. Same I don't think they're mad at me or they think like okay, well, well, this guy this guy doesn't like Bennett, so I'm not gonna watch him. <laughs> like, I'm 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 the world's biggest it. Bennett fan. Like nah, I think it's kind of funny. Like I also um, and I work against this instinct actually a little bit in my recent Elden Ring video. Um, I wanted to get a detail intentionally wrong, but I, I don't know, something in my brain was screaming at me. Like this whole thing is, is very much just like what I want to do, what I feel like doing in the moment. Yeah. And a part of my brain screamed to me like, no, put a disclaimer in the corner of the uh, corner of the video telling, telling people that this is actually a joke. Do it. Um, I wanted, I wanted to joke that like, I wanted to, uh, get like a detail about Michigan and Wisconsin wrong. Oh, so yeah. that people from those states would then yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I wanted what to piss, the fuck? I wanted to piss off people from You're Minnesota. You're trying to piss off people? It, what? Oh, sorry, Wisconsin. Just in Wisconsin, I, just to get them. Oh, the cheese heads are going to be in the fucking comments or like, section. I like, joke, I, may, I like making jokes at specific regions all the time. Just because I like, I like it when people come oh. and they say, Hi, I'm from there. 
Like, that's really cool. I love, I actually, I like that. So the more well, tame version of that is me referencing, oh, this is what it's like in Arizona. This is what it's like in Portland, Oregon. This is what it's like in uh, California, which is all in my last video. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. love, I don't know. I just, it's one of my favorite jokes to do is just regional jokes. Yeah, you know, someone from Arizona, that was pretty fucking accurate, to be honest. It's pretty much hell here. Well, what, can, you, can you say what the Wisconsin joke was, or is it just that bad? No, no, I, no. I said Michigan. Okay. Like, in the video, I was like, oh, we're in Michigan now. And right. I put cheese. Yeah. Like, to represent Michigan. Oh. And I was like, I hope that people from Wisconsin get mad at me for this. <laughs> for confusing the two. But then I was like, this is so dumb. I'm just going to put a disclaimer in the corner. <laughs> <And> <laughs> that, I, that I know that I don't know. I didn't, I didn't undo the joke. I was too lazy. I was just like, ah, this is terrible. Just fix this. It's fine. <laughs> well, do, do you think people actually, like, go through your videos and, like, overanalyze, like, every frame? There are people that will pause every, uh, like, at everything just to see. I watched a reaction channel where the guy actually did that. It was like a 60 minute long video. And for a lot of the jokes, he would just, he would like hit his space bar and like pause it and then look at the meme and go like, ha, that's funny. And then he continued. <laughs> I mean, did you like that? Was it actually kind of creative or? It's, it's kind of nice seeing a person actually like appreciate it to that degree. Yeah. Like I didn't, I don't expect that out of everyone. Mm. I kind of think like I do it mostly to make the videos rewatchable or like replayable. Oh, right, right, right. Like, you can pause at a different moment, see a different thing every single time. It's amazing. <laughs> um, I didn't expect it for people to literally, like, pause at everything. But it makes sense. Like, they want to see every detail. A lot of people will literally, like, watch it one... They, a lot of people tell me they watch it, like, you know, normally the first time. And then the second time, they watch everything. <laughs> but I've got, I got two views out of that instead of one, then. That's perfectly fine. Was it actually work like that? I, don't, I actually was unaware a lot of a lot of my patrons tell me that. Oh, or a lot of like YouTube comments will say like, "Okay, I'm done with my first watch. It's time for the watch where I actually try to understand the video." Well, okay, I mean, yeah, that actually that, that is how it works. Actually, the more I think about it, it's like you know, first watch, just watch it through. Second part, go and analyze and see what he actually actually said because there's probably or just like, like if you don't hear something right, you just rewind it and listen. Yeah, that that's probably more accurate to be honest. But like, yeah, oh my, well, so. Real quick, I saw you on Twitter. You, you called out uh, somebody, I think it was a Mexican, no, was it a Spanish channel? That, uh, oh, like, yeah, uh, that. Co copy and paste. So but I, I think, yeah, you came back and I'm pretty it. sure, like, I'm 90% sure I was making a mistake, or at least, like, the language that the person who alerted me, like, the, the person who alerted it to me mm -hmm. made it sound like they were taking my um, video and jokes, like, verbatim in the same way. Oh. And I was, like, kind of mad at first. But then I, I looked at it and I thought about it. And then I actually asked a Spanish speaker, like, what's in this video? Can you tell me? And then, like, I realized, like, I was probably making a mistake. Because hmm. the thing is, like, I can't stop anyone and I won't stop anyone from just, like, taking a joke or whatever. Like, you can deal with the social consequences of that yourself. <laughs> if people call you out for stealing jokes, like, that's on you. Um, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to be, like... I made a rock, paper, scissors joke there. And you are also making a rock, paper, scissors joke there. So you're clearly, that's clear for me and you're stealing. Like, no, that doesn't matter. I don't own words. It's fine. Um, I was just a little more peeved that he used footage of, of my video. I'm still a little peeved of it, obviously. Yeah. But it's a small part from a Spanish channel. I don't need to care too much. I don't need to get mad about... Um, it turns out, like, it, he he takes footage or, or grab footage from other places and stuff like that. Like, I don't like that they're using some footage from me like without permission and just kind of passing it off as their own with their own commentary. But mm -hmm. I, just, I, I, it's not worth my effort. It's fine. Yeah. Well, until you, until you decide you to capitalize on the Spanish viewership by doing L Mac, L senior Max or, or oh, something God. like that. That would be so difficult actually to like <laughs> to sync a different languages words to what I'm doing. And because all of uh, what I do is so timed to the exact beats of like the words, you know? Yeah. It just wouldn't fit. It just wouldn't fit. It'd be so them. hard. It'd be really well, difficult. Have you noticed there's any channels that actually like copy your style, like verbatim, or just uh, maybe not even verbatim, verbatim? But is there any big channels that you think like are not big ones? Okay, what, are there honestly, any... not big ones. Like, yeah. not really. There are some that like do pretty crazy meme editing, but they've always existed before me. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, like Two Mad or something like that will do really funny, like really fast meme editing for for real life, actually, not for games, and it's fine. And they've existed long before I did. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say I'm copying somebody, honestly, because uh, that's a joke. But when I first started out, I was way more like Uber Danger, way more like Seth. 
mm. where it was mostly zooming, it was mostly images, and it was mostly like funny commentary and just trying to rely on being like the funny, clever guy. Right. Um, and not like having that much hyperactive editing. And then my friend, now now I'm friends with him, Jimothy Ross, when I looked at his video, he he contacted me and he was asking me about editing like like I was more knowledgeable than him. And and I saw his videos and I was like, I'm not doing good enough. I need to make my videos better then. Oh my I god, need... dude. That, that's literally so I like... developed like my own thing in parallel to him, and we like literally took notes from each other. Like whenever I oh. thought of something like funny or interesting for editing, I would share it with him, and he'd share stuff with me. Um, so like we're totally cool with each other. We both like the genre that we're in. We both want to edit this way, and we both have no problems with each other. I would say he like when I when I saw him, I was like, I'm not good enough. This is not good enough. I need to be. As like as good as as this person is. Do, do you not think that's like being? I mean, obviously it's harder to realize it, but do you not think? Did he not even tell you? Like, isn't that being a little too hard on yourself, basically? Well, I'm like, I've always been like, frustratingly like, dedicated. Yeah. And even in like school and stuff like that, I, I can't let myself like. <laughs> do worse wor worse work than i i know i can do mm. like when i saw that i was like i know i can do that and i'm not is basically what i thought like so i and i didn't like i i don't think i was too hard on myself because i was slow in adopting it at least i like paced myself well and mm. i worked up until where i am now which is psychotic <laughs> um but is it not is it literally is your current setup like sustainable you think is my current setup what? Sustainable. Like, oh, my mic might not be here on Discord. Ooh, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> you know I, think, I think for this video, that was the main, my recent video, that was the main test for that. Yeah, yeah, Elden Ring Part was, 2. Was, um, I was like, okay, can I make this video and also have a life now? Like, I thought, when I made my Metal Gear Rising videos, I thought like, okay, I have to really make these videos. And like... I can throw other stuff to the side because you don't know when you explode on YouTube, you don't know when that's going to stop, when, how you have to try and take advantage of it yeah. as much as possible. Like, and I talked with Uber Danger about this and he was like, yeah, I was up all the time, like always making videos as quickly as possible. Like be, when I started like getting big because I knew like that would save me time later. And I agree. Right. Now is the time that I have bought from working very hard previously in my opinion like now i'm working like eight hours a day or something instead of like 10 or 12 usually around eight hours or something like that i'm trying to make it eight hours instead of 10 <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, yeah i'm trying to have there. like a generally like i'm trying to have a life now i'm trying to like get out way more and like pace myself so that these videos are something i can do just as a living like as if i'm walking into an office and have a commute like you know like a regular worker or whatever just yeah yeah well because it's obviously instead of being so dedicated to it all the time yeah because it's mainly like a passion right like you're just putting all time in it you're just like i want to make this video good for not only the people that watch but also for me right oh yeah that too that too especially for metal gear rising and elden ring videos yeah yeah like that's the reason they have all these crazy music moments and all this like cool stuff happening and and all these moments that are kind of meant to like be like a like a yeah moment instead of just being funny all the time yeah um because i genuinely care about it and i like it and i i like where the plot's going i i i, I want to make mini movies basically that's yeah, why yeah. my video is like 30 minutes long i want to make a mini movie well would you would you ever change it off of platforms like instead of being on youtube all the time because i was like i watched the video i was like holy fuck i'm surprised that that was all free like what the fuck like this shit should not be on youtube no though because like for gaming, that there, I don't want to actually make a movie. Like, really, I don't want. I don't want to be the guy. I don't want to have to deal with cameras <laughs> or like other crews and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're in a video game, it does all the hard work for you. It does every action scene for you. It gets all the footage for you. It gets all the sound effects for you. Um, not all of them because I add many, many sound effects. Mm -hmm. But this is why, like in particular, I'm doing this for video games. Is because. First of all, like the, the video games as art make me feel a certain way and I like expressing that. Yeah. But also, like, if you want to make a mini movies in this way, this is the easiest, like, best way to do it. I'm I'm cutting to the good part, basically. I'm 
I like getting straight to the good part and not like worrying about the logistics ends of it. So I don't think I would make, I don't think I'm the kind of person to make actual movies at all. Huh. That's a that's pretty, pretty interesting to think about. And well, okay. Let, I'm going to change topics a little bit. Kind of, uh, we're, we're getting kind of far into this. How are you doing by the way? Just double check with you. Cause we are going to like that. I told you like what? 40 minutes, basically an hour. Kind of. You're doing good. I'm good to go as long as you want to. We, we honestly. won't go. We won't go. That I'll go long. like up to. Don't worry. I'll don't go worry past one if you want. It's fine. <laughs> I have well, a lot to talk about. I'm really excited to talk about this. What, what, what do you want to talk about? What, what's on your mind? Like, what, what do you really want to get off your chest in some sort of like inter interview format? What's what's what comes to mind in like this kind of format that you just. God, that's that's actually that's a good question. I was you... I was so used. To, I'm always so used <laughs> to people asking me these questions. Yeah, yeah. And me being like, oh yeah, it's exactly like this. And whenever my whenever my father um, comes to visit and talks to me, he he always asks these questions like this, um, where he's like, "So, so Max, how long do you work? Like, what, what is it like? What is it?" And I'm I'm so used to responding to that, but I've never brought it up. Like, I've never, <laughs> I've never been the one to do that. Let me see. Like, it, if I look at like all the topics you have right now, I wrote a um, lot more, but like we're probably not going to use all of them anyways, just just out of sheer respect for your time, but. Uh, I mean, okay, well, I do want to say, mm. um, YouTuber, like, as the, the, these YouTubers are the, that I work with all the time with, like, voices and stuff like that mm. are, like, the best people ever. They are so nice. I can't, I am so surprised, like, how nice some YouTubers actually are. At least, like, I've never had a bad experience working with them, and I always, like, I always offer them money or at least like if i think that i don't know them or whatever like I, I i can pay you for these voice lines and they almost always say like no it's fine the only the only ones i have to pay are like um when i work with gianni Matragrano, i think that's how his name is pronounced oh, um yeah. he's really good he's like an actual voice actor and everything like that and he's a joy to work with as well i just honestly this is a really really cool hobby to have and I'm really glad that I was able to like actually turn it into a job and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Because before this, I just kind of like, I was kind of just a janitor. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, um, when I got home from college, I couldn't like, I couldn't really find a job in my field that easily, so I just worked as like a janitor at the local, uh, at the local gym all day. <laughs> Not all day, like okay, two to four hours a day or something like that. And they couldn't even pay me that and pay me enough to like have me on for longer than that. Oh shit! So, I get to yeah. I'm I'm really happy with where it is. Also, with like editing, this is uh. People always ask me for like, what tutorials did you watch, um, or like, where did you learn how to do this? Um, and I do want to say like, it is pretty much fully self-taught. I don't want to brag too much. Because I literally spent, like, before I was even popular, I spent, like, I don't know, like, four to six years just uploading and uploading and uploading and uploading. Yeah. And not seeing any result at all because it was bad. Um, I don't know. People are kind of hard on themselves for being not that good. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you are aware of that, like, consciously... And I wasn't even consciously aware of that. I was just like uploading stuff, not thinking anyone would see it back in the day. Mm. Um, but if you're really consciously trying to get to the level that I'm at, it is quite possible. It's just really hard um, to like, once you're at that level, like even, even when you can edit like me, like can people really, like for my channel, for instance, right? Uh, I can... I can take two and a half months to upload something and upload it and have everyone like and enjoy it and stuff like that. And that was me working like eight hours a day. I don't think that's possible for a small channel. Like, oh, yeah. I think one reason why there's not that many channels like mine, and I think at, at a big level for gaming, there's probably not that many, and I'm not even aware of that many. Um, but it's probably because it's really hard to get started. Yeah. Like, for a lot of people, this probably happens by, by accident. For me, it happened by accident. Or at least, that, like, because it happened to me, I feel like that's the more viable route for people is, like, you start doing some content and you get a, a popularity base and then you do, like, kind of what you wanted to do. But a, a, in that process, a lot of people will just stick to what got them popular. 
Yeah. So like I don't I don't know how you if you want to do like what I do. Uh, first of all, good luck. You got a lot of editing ahead of you, but <laughs> ninety hours a week. Let's started. go. Like I legitimately don't know. It's it, really hard. <laughs> well, they're, um, they're, they're it always... wasn't that hard for me, but it's probably going to be really hard for other people who want to do what I'm doing. Yeah, and it, that sucks. It does, but like you can't really change it though, can you? Because that's just how the YouTube structure works. I mean, it, that's how all of like you, Max, or Timothy Ross, like that's how <laughs> you guys kind of have have done things, right? It's just kind of doing it to not think anybody was going to fucking watch it. And then out of nowhere, it's like, oh, so people are watching. Cool. Now I can actually make it work. For my content now, honestly, a lot of it was like me pivoting to stuff that I realized people like way more. And I, even if it alienated my older audience that didn't want to see, like, uh, you know, if you subscribed for a, a five to eight minute Arma video with some funny cutaway gags, I don't know if you're going to watch the... um God, I I was so bad in my like transition <laughs> years, where like, I was ago? transitioning to Ace Combat commentaries and oh yeah, and a plot summary of a Neopets game. Oh, I still gotta watch that. Is that is that unprivated? It is publicly available still, but oh, it's cool. like watching a it's like watching a proto Maxor. It's like watching <laughs> like great. you know that this will this is Maxor is gonna be Maxor eventually, but it doesn't feel right. <laughs> that's what you think but those are like those are like relics almost it's like you're going to a museum it's also like before i really got my voice correct the one of the hardest things for people even when they're trying yeah. is the voice so did you for like narration and commentary it takes so long you have you just got to practice i oh, think so what did you do did you take like singing lessons or did you take like voice acting lessons or did you just keep doing it over and over again? no i think you can kind of tell though in my videos that i'm slowly getting better Oh, Honestly, okay. I did things the hard way. I feel like if somebody if somebody really looked at my channel and decided that they want to do it precisely this, they could do it faster than I did, obviously. Like, they could get to that yeah. point faster than I did. That's where I think Jimothy Ross is going, is he's going to get to that... He's going to get to the point where he's bigger faster than I did because he knows exactly what he wants, as oh. opposed to me, who had to figure it out. Um, but I don't know. I'm I'm a shy person. I just slowly like my standards rose basically like back then my standards were not actually that high and i i think now like my entire like perfectionism my my being hard on myself it's all because just like my standards have grown to a point where like i can't accept anything else at this point because i've been to where i've been to bad yeah, content but before you're still like aware that you're in a situation where you can kind of ch not chill out necessarily but like take it more like a nine to five or something like that or it's a, a little bit more <laughs> you know, stable. Yeah, I, that's what I want to do. And honestly, like, um, for my videos, I want videos that function at the same pace as like all my current videos now, like my Elden Ring part one and two, I think their pace is perfect. It's the speed mm -hmm. that I want. It has all the breaks that I want. It has like different moments that, um, uh, like give the viewer a break or you'll talk to somebody instead of nonstop action all the time. I just want all my videos to be of that exact pacing, but of different length. Like, that's it. I, I feel like, now I have like an exact format that I like and I want to keep replicating and that my years of figuring it out are over, hmm. which is good. Is there such thing as over editing for you? This will be like my last question and then I'll open up the chat. <laughs> <laughs> is there such thing as over editing? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, no. When I do it, I don't throw it out because it's too much work to throw out. The okay. thing is like, for my videos, it is still a business. It's still like a thing I have to get done at the end of the day. I still have to meet my quota every day. So when I over edit a scene and I think like, no, this is dumb. I might edit a few things down, but I don't throw it all out at all. Like I just keep it. I think I talked about this earlier uh, in my Elden Ring part two. When I first fight the boss Morgoth, like I first begin the fight, there's a, there's a mini music montage. It's five seconds long. And you can't tell what's happening in that at all, but it's perfectly synced to the music. So I was like, it's fine. Leave it in. Because if I were to remove that, it's wasted. It's wasted time. I tell people, like, even if you don't like what you did previously, try to touch it up. And even if you don't like it after it's touched up, just move on. Because it's, it, you want, you can improve next video. Oh, and yeah, that's, a, you, that's, I like There's that. so much in my videos that I think aren't perfect and I hate them. <laughs> there's so much. But you're just like, just pump it out. Just, I mean, it's not But like... I'm just like, okay, I edited this way. I have this shot. I'm not going to go through the footage again. I'm not going to look for another shot. This is how it has to be. 
move on. Yeah, that's probably a, like a pretty reasonable way to look at it. It seems like you're like, you've actually somehow found out like the fucking perfect combination of not being too hard on yourself, but also like still like just, okay, fuck it. Just push it out at this point. I, I like to think that I'm just disciplined. That's what like, I, I, I can. I can tell myself what I need to do to get this out in the time that I want. Damn, that's pretty good. All right, well, let's open up the chat, guys, uh, real fast. To, uh, we've been going for about, I guess, an hour, and I had we had so many fuck-ups. It's my part for Damn. kind of I'd a... I'd love to answer questions from the chat, though. I, yeah, again, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very enthusiastic about this. I don't care if I go over an hour. It doesn't matter to me. I appreciate it, Max. It's good to have you. I, I, it's been a fun chat, even though... Yeah, I mean, listen, I usually run things on VMix Max or, but... It's, this time I was like, yeah, just fuck it, just run on Discord, and we had OBS issues, but I'll, I'll cut that. Part I don't even out. know how VMix works or whatever that's called. I it's like uh, it. uh, you don't have to worry about it actually. The more I think about it, I would say, so I'll skim through chat here. Um, you can actually, if you are you looking at chat right now or no? Let me go look. If you want, you can like you could pick the fucking. I question. could pick some out. I could. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are nonsense. Yeah. Max, how much do you hate your Discord? <laughs> I wanted to okay. ask you about your Discord, but you... I think my opinion on Discord channels is that um, they can't be the perfect. They can't be the way you want them to be. Mm. because And, and no one's going to call them your, fav their, your favorite Discord if you're a YouTuber. Like No one's going to be like, this YouTube Discord is my favorite. Because it's meant to appeal to so many people. It's meant to have so many different kinds of people and be so generalized that... like. Usually when people say it's something's their favorite Discord, it's, it's small and it's more focused on what they want and care about. Right. Um, so for me, everyone says, like, my Discord's bad or whatever. Um, I'll say my Discord's bad, but in my opinion, I'm running it well. Like, no one feels very uncomfortable. There's not, like, direct persecution of people, unless you're new to the server, in which case everyone hazes you relentlessly. But I think that's funny, honestly. <laughs> um, it's not like a... It's the right I don't passes. think it's like... A, it's in a place where it's in a place where like I know that it's not the best thing and nobody's going to call it their favorite discord and that's perfectly acceptable and in fact desired. Huh. Let's see what's another one. Yeah, take one more and they then keep I'll asking me about my discord constantly. <laughs> constantly all my discord. Oh yeah, I'm with this Neopets 2 part part 2 one. Oh, that's a joke. Yeah, the um there was this one guy, like, back when my channel was small and people, individual people could, like, comment and be regulars on, in the comment section. Mm. There's this one guy. Um, hang on. Is, is that his name? No? Okay. There's this yeah, one guy. I, I'm not going to tell you his name because I think it was an actual full name. Oh, okay. And every video he went, so, so when's the next Neopets video? <laughs> and one reason that I was influenced to make the, uh, the Neopets video, um, which was actually one of my channel's bigger videos... It's because I, I just I was just like, he's gonna freak out when he sees this one. <laughs> so that's like that's the explanation behind that joke, and I, I like that joke, honestly. Um it's part of a bygone era. Well let's see, what else is there on like Well, I have a question for you, Maxter. So like what's up? How have you how have you because I, I talked to you about this before we actually I started the stream, and I was like, how have you thought of the idea of you blowing up and having a, a bigger channel? Like, has it ever has it kicked in that you have like a following that is like so desperate for fucking content that they'll go out of their way to watch reaction like youtube channels like what what does that mean to you and like has it actually kicked in it means a lot to me but in reality i try to i try to remain very humble mm. because like i know like i'm a youtuber dude i'm not I, i'm not gonna go out and get recognized on the street I'm not going to be like, there's not going to be crowds of people cheering for me or anything. I'm a famous person, at least maybe if I'm lucky, but like, probably not. no, I don't like to think of myself like I'm super popular, maybe on the internet, but the internet's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so I think of it in terms of like, what can I do with this? Um, and the answer is like, I, I think of this in terms of like, you know, d this enables to me to do this as a full-time job. And interact with people and, and go on amazing little interviews and, and hopefully inspire other people if they want to do similar content or anything like that or just be a YouTuber in general, right? Um, stuff like that. That's pretty much what it means to me in general. Like, I, I don't know. Popularity for popularity's sake doesn't e exist. It doesn't make sense. It's just something you think up in your head. I 
theoretically could influence a lot of people, but really it's more, there's no parasocial relationships happening. I don't cultivate that. You know, no, you're, you're a lot more, you, you interact actually quite. I, I make my video and if you want to interact with me, like as a fan or whatever, send me messages, it's fine. But I'm not like, I'm not like trying to sell my, my personality is real. Like, you know, in my, in my own ring videos, I'm a character, I'm a narrated voice. I'm a script. You're not seeing like me and I'm not trying to get you super interested in me or anything like that. Just from that. I just want you to enjoy the content. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Would you ever just make like a casual game? I guess I'm not feeling it. I'm, I have a bunch of, I have like, you know, 900 and, and 30,000, uh, customers, I guess. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's such a bad way to put it. Right. But I mean, there's I no don't way, like, really. I don't want people to, I don't want people to don't call me daddy. Don't do it. Stop doing it. Stop <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Who's calling you daddy, Max? Dude? A lot of people in my discord. Oh God. Is this why you, is this why? Is this why they, is this why everybody hates him? <laughs> oh no! Oh, if no. if you okay, Max, or, can, uh, can the I... joke in my Discord is that like, okay, we wanted um people to have custom colors only if they're like the really really important regulars who are always in the chat and always talking all the time. Yeah, yeah. So we set it so that you have to be in the server for six months to get a color, <laughs> to get a okay. colored name, like to okay. get red, brown, green. You can choose your own color. Brian. But it takes six months of being in the Discord, like being a regular person on the Discord. Um, and they've turned that into a cult where you haze anyone who's not, what the who doesn't fuck? have a colored name, even though nobody would reasonably have it. You have racism in your Discord backstory. This is actual, yes. this is literal color racism. Racism against people with blue names. That is oh. that is the situation currently. Holy fuck. All right. Fuck blue people. people. I get it now. Uh, yeah, you want to take one more from chat, and then we can uh, we can close things out after that. If you if you, I, oh, they are freaking out about the uh, the blue slander. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to see any any questions. I'm going to scroll up to the earlier questions and see. Yeah, go for it. Oh, somebody asked a great question, an excellent question, an actual oh. question. Where do you see your channel in two to three years? Oh, there you go. So I would like to eventually figure out how sponsorships work. Like the thing is. It's so hard. I'm so perfectionist about it. I don't want, especially in my Elden Ring videos where I'm so passionate about the game, especially in like maybe an Ultra Kill video, I'm so passionate about the game. I don't want to have, like, I don't want to have a sponsorship in those. It feels so bad. You kind of have to though, right? But right? after a certain point, I need to swallow my pride. I yeah. think like, I tell myself like, I want this series to be perfect. I want it to advertise me and my voice. I want everyone to come in on board like because of this series. And then after I'm done with this, I can have a bunch. Of, I, I'll probably be in an in between. I'll have a bunch of different uh, content and stuff like that, not just one one game or two games. Uh, or I might, in the future, I want to eventually go back to like 15 minute videos instead of 30 minute ones. But for now, the game that I'm doing it on like requires 30 minute videos. Mm. Um, <laughs> I like being uh, the quality guy, like the thing people wait for. If you um, if you make daily content, if you make even like. Uh, videos once every three days or something the issue is that you're kind of you might be like there's no fomo it, it, you're you're constantly competing with other people basically yeah like for attention and it that's something like i i i feel like i could do that it's it's something a lot of people can do and it's a good option for a lot of people i don't think it's a good thing for me like i would cave under the pressure i would just not be able to i i i need like a format where i can like take a break i can take a vacation do something else instead of like constantly working on youtube 24 7 yeah so like the two month thing's pretty good but in two three years i hope i'm pretty i always predict like okay my growth is going to be pretty much like steady and then i get like something that explodes randomly yeah, yeah i never i literally never thought i'd i'd have up to the point of a million but i'm almost there now it's like what nine hundred fifty thousand. Oh shit close to that so button. i don't know where this goes and especially like eventually i'm going to hit a cap with the audience like even a person as big as Seth, like with this with this great channel that everyone shares around, and everyone likes. Like eventually, you kind of hit a market cap. He's like he's around like one point two million like subscribers. He'll probably get like as he does this years and years later, he might get like to two million. But I don't think I'm ever gonna become like a like a ten million guy or anything like that. I'm probably just gonna I could live off of like a million forever. I I, I could live off of what I'm at right now forever. Like I. I don't think expansion is going to mean too much for me. It's just going to be like a plus, but I'm still going to make the same thing, hopefully.
Yeah, it's like, kind of. It's kind of like I guess LeBron James asking for a raise already after he's made like hundreds of million dollars a year. I, it's like eh, whatever. I don't do sponsorships, so I don't make like I don't make a lot. I'm not gonna like say exactly how much because like that, that's a terrible no, idea. Yeah, yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> don't fucking do that. <laughs> that's an awful plan. Yeah. Um. God, I was gonna say something. <laughs> You're blanking. God. Dude, it's the I light. think that's the question answered though. Literally... Like... Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What I was gonna say was um. This was, I said earlier, um, that what I'm doing right now is basically the template. It's it's the pacing template. Like, the pacing's not going to change. Since, like, Metal Gear Rising, um, I experimented with uh, my Monster Hunter World Review, and I just personally didn't like it as much. Didn't like making it as much. People like it, but it's different. Yeah. Um, and I decided, like, okay, incorrect summaries are the thing I want to do. I will only do reviews if I if I have to, or I think, like, it's better than whatever possible incorrect summary I can do. And that, like, this is a format that I want to keep. And I want to be, like, known for this format. So, that's yeah. pr- I'm probably going to just be doing the this format, but more refined in, like, two to three years. Maybe I can find an editor, I hope. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I would... I was thinking in my head, like, oh, what would I do if I actually got an editor on board? And I would probably treat them like a full-time employee. I would probably, like, make try to make sure that they're being paid well enough try to give them space to be creative and yeah. probably try to, I would probably create an entire style guide for like all the things I do. If they want to replicate those things, exactly how to do it. Like, could you not just find like some guy that's like actually a professional editor and just be like, Hey, this is my oh, style. That's what I got to do. Like you, can th- you cod, can you imagine going to film school and like, and going through Dude. like all that and like, and then this dude comes in and he's like, I need you to edit like an absolute, <laughs> spastic i need you to throw and i also need you to throw out everything you learned about color i need you to throw out everything you learned about pacing and like just film in general and and, and like create a monstrosity nice sir. these are the same degenerates that grew up watching fucking markiplier bro and pewdiepie play amnesia you think you think these guys, well, these guys care i don't know youtube editors like i always think of like um guys who edit like clip channels as like the main dudes i wonder i wonder oh. if there's like a person that i i'd have to look around or see i don't it's I, a different community. i'd also have to like work out in my finances like okay is this a good idea how much can i pay them like yeah, yeah and yeah. also i'd have to coordinate like working on the project i basically wa- i would only want to do it if it makes me like you know twice as fast basically to pull out a video yeah that makes sense actually well i would want my my video to come out like quicker basically is is the reason yeah like a like like more Roblox, like you mentioned earlier, you just gotta play like what like a obby or whatever. Or I know it's tycoons. <laughs> and then also, I can I can justify having like five parts of Elden Ring if that's the case. Oh, <laughs> were... oh my god! Don't even because I'd say able to actually have them out. Don't even say that you've already committed to four. That's literally what happened. I, and I'm probably going to do a part for each DLC is the thing. Oh god! So I uh, I'm screwed. Yeah, you're gonna be doing uh, it for <laughs> Elden next... Ring's gonna be the thing I do when I like when I have no game that I'm like really really wanting to try or like as a video so. What and about... I, because I really want to try Elden Ring, it's like, yeah, I have to restrict myself. <laughs> Would you? Oh, never mind. I had I have some uh, personal games that I was interested in, like uh, Orc Massage Parlor. You know, I wanted to see a, a Maxor or rev- <laughs> review. <laughs> Why are you looking around, Max? Or what? What? It was you never. Rep- uh, it, no, I don't think I'm looking around. It was my instinct to look away as you were saying that. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about like, Serbi. What about what about uh, Cyberfucker Furry Two or whatever that game was on Steam? No, I'll pass. All right, all right, fine. I don't and think it's got the plot elements that I want to like get the pacing I want. You don't have to over. You don't have to over overanalyze it. <laughs> and similar to a, to a grand tour situation on, on that bombshell, uh, we're probably going to end the interview uh, unless you want to keep going. But well, we can save it for a part two. <laughs> maybe maybe somebody will think of an actual question. What, are you thinking? Look up are, you, are you saying the blue names in your Discord is? Uh, I don't know. A, a lot of question. people are just like, do this video, and that's their question. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try seeing if there's any really good ones. But the voice acting thing we've kind of covered already. Oh, what? oh, never mind. That's not really a question. Do you consider your heavy editing more pain or pleasure? That's the well. Let's say that's the last question. Yeah, go for it. Um, I I actually kind of want to answer this question. That's why. Um. So that's a question where uh, what they really mean is like, 
are you doing this because you're really, really passionate about it? Or do you not like, is it really hard to edit like this? Like, what's your opinion on it? Um, and I think I've said before, my opinion on it is that it's my job. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I, I, I set an exact pace for it. And that pace determines how good the editing is, even though I'm screaming internally the whole time, like edit this more, do this more, put more things in it or, or get another shot. Find a, find a, find a crazy creative shot where you can do this stuff or whatever, or, or like, I'll look at a scene and I'll be like, oh, this doesn't feel right, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I edited like, actually, I do want to give a story real quick yeah, like, yeah. To, to close off. I think it'll be a funny story. Okay. I've edited for fun forever. Um, it was, it's gen, it's genuinely my passion. I really enjoy it. I don't do it on my time off now because I'm always editing at work. Um, but this all started when I was 13 years old. I think it was 13 or 14. Um, my dad gave me a birthday present and it was Adobe Premiere Elements, uh, mm -hmm. for whatever time period that was, I don't know, um, 2010, something like that. I don't remember. And it was back when you could get like editing software by paying a hundred dollars and you'd have it forever. Okay. So I edited all my videos on that forever. And I only upgraded in 20, 2018 or so. What the fuck? So for like eight years, 10 years, or something like that, I was on that software. <laughs> okay, well, is it not the software's fault that you had shitty editing before? The, <laughs> the software was really bad at handling higher resolutions. Oh, there you go. And it also could not do masking. What? Like it was old, so yeah, it just didn't do masking, and it was Premiere Elements. It wasn't Premiere Pro, so. But that's actually what got my whole thing started. Honestly, that's that's literally what began my passion for editing. Was that? Is that so? That's why you put up with your dad coming over and asking the most basic, big questions. Oh, he asks insightful questions sometimes. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm underestimating your dad. Maybe your dad. Maybe gonna... maybe like thirty percent of the time. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit! Well, right. I appreciate you coming, Max or dude. Thank you for uh, thank you for coming and chatting Absolutely. with me. It was really it was a pleasure having you, especially since like I I don't know. It's just a good time to have you. I appreciate you coming by. Oh, yeah, I'm having I'm having a great time. This is like the first time I've I, I've said before, but this is like the first time I've had a major thing like that. So I'm yeah, very pleased. Hopefully, uh, people will start to actually reach out to you to, for interviews and shit like that because. I mean, you know, I'm, by the way, but for people asking in chat, yes, this will be eventually on YouTube. So any of the random Gargura shit that you heard in the background, that shit will be removed. So don't worry about that. This will be 100% so you can listen to this with Max or um, on the YouTube channel and probably probably like tomorrow, honestly. So that is hilarious. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate you coming, Max or and I'll see you guys later from the Twitch frame. This is uh, me and Max. We're leaving. See you guys later, boys.